Welcome back friends, this is Salman Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. So in the past, I've been sculpting in a VR, virtual reality using uh, this Quest 2. And I finally upgraded. I've been excited to finally try the Quest 3, right? So this is a Quest 3, I just picked it up from Best Buy. So I'm just doing a quick unboxing to see what comes in the Quest 3. And I can't wait to share with you some of the sessions that I'm going to do with uh, doing the you know, sculpting in virtual reality and also developing some you know, gaming you know, applications and things like that. So let's see what comes in this box. So this direction says, is this side. Okay. Another one at this side also. Let's pull it out. I'm really, really excited. <laughs> I got the 128 gigabyte version because I'm going to be using a link cable. This one right here. And on the other end of this cable, let's see if I can get it. So this is the other side of the link cable. This one goes into the headset. So I saw this one online a uh, while back when I was getting the Quest 2. And let me see if it will work inside of the Quest 3. Okay. So let's see if I can get this out easily. So this is the box in the inside. All right, let's see. I did a good job of packing it. So let me see if I can pop it open. Voila. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. So this is the first time for me to see a Quest 3 headset. And it looks awesome. So there's the controller. Now let me see if I can compare the two controllers. So this is the Quest 2 controller right here. And this is the Quest 3 controller. So in terms of the joystick, this is what the Quest 2 looks like. And this one doesn't have any like this overarching hold like right there so that's the difference between the the controllers in terms of uh, the buttons it looks like the placement is also slightly different right and the triggers triggers are almost similar right there but this one looks a little bit more shiny this one has like a matte finish to it so those are the two differences between the controllers okay so I can't wait to try this out. And let's look at the headset itself. It has a very nice case in there. So the headset, in terms of uh, size, should have, I mean, right off the bat are these cameras that you see up at the front. The Quest 3, the Quest 2 rather, doesn't have any of that. <laughs> so you're looking at uh, two different headsets. In terms of size, it's about the same, right? And in terms of the depth, it's about the same, but let's do under here. So that's where you see the main difference underneath, right? The button, there's the button right there. This, the button over here is a little bit different. But you can see some additional sensors up under there, right? And this is the iconic, these are the quite iconic lenses that are not on the Quest 2. So this is very interesting. I can't wait to try this out. So, and they both come with a, a strap on the top. 
So there's a strap on top right there. And this one also has a strap on top. So I think this is for better you know, support of the neck, of the head, so that you don't feel the weight too much like pulling forward. And I think that was the issue with the Apple Vision Pro, is that it felt like it was pushing down the weight of the, that was put down on the cheeks. Now in terms of weight, I think it feels about the same, not too different. But I guess I'll find out once I put it on my head, right? And then in terms of uh, the lenses themselves, Let's see the difference. So there's a the Quest 2 right there. And there's the Quest 3 right there. So I'm going to find out once I put it on and the test, and then I'll be able to share with you guys what my experience has been. But this is exciting. <laughs> Oh man, I can't wait to try out uh, Substance uh, Modeler and uh, also try out, uh, I think it's Medium by Adobe. Uh, there are some several like programs that I would really, I'm excited to try out for with this uh, Quest 3. So on the side here, I think I see like a, a tiny slot over there. And this is where the cable goes. So let me see if it actually fits. So this is the cable and it's supposed to, I think it's supposed to go right here. I don't know if it's the same version. Yes. Okay. So if you have a Quest 2 and you already have the link cable, you don't need to buy a new cable, right? You just have to repurpose the one that you have and then is the Velcro attachment right here to make sure it stays put. I guess like so, right? But I'm curious, there's so many cameras over here, over, over on this side as well. Yeah, this is exciting guys. <laughs> if any of you own the Quest 3, I'm very curious to hear what your thoughts are. Do you like your version of uh, this VR headset, and if you have a Apple Vision Pro, how does this compare? You know, in terms of it. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is exciting, 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 I, and I'm gonna do another. Like once I install the applications, I'll be able to do a, an in-depth test. And of course, back then it used it was uh, Oculus, but as you can see, you know, this it, 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 it says Oculus right there. And now it says Meta right there so there's been a transition <laughs> once they change their name to, to meta so guys thank you so much for joining me today uh i just wanted to show you the unboxing of the quest 3 to show you what you might expect if you're looking at investing in it and uh it really looks really nice <laughs> in the way doesn't doesn't feel too heavy compared because i went to the store and tried out the apple vision pro uh apple vision pro felt much heavier than this so i can't wait to try it out and then share with you guys so thank you so much for joining me today uh, if you're new to my channel do please spare, spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when i post a new video and i want to say thank you so much to all my patrons guys i truly truly appreciate the support and i'll continue to share more tutorials and insights as i encounter some of the tools that we end up using as well because i want to once I can learn something, I always want to share it with you guys so that we can tell our stories co like convincingly and also to create content for those stories. And this is one of those devices that you can use to sculpt characters and environments and props for your stories. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please stay blessed. Bye for now. Much love to each and every one of you. See you next time. Bye-bye.